Welcome to Charles Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Thursday the 22nd of April comes to you from London and we're seeing the dollar index uh, just relatively flat at the moment on the short term chart trying to recover through the cloud but seems to have found a, a bottom here. On the uh, medium term daily chart uh, we are testing this uh, sort of cloud support and on the long term chart we have pulled back the last few weeks. Remembering though this is my weekly, my daily, my 60 minute chart giving us a long term, medium term and short term view of the market. So long term we are just seeing a pullback from that recovery uh, but for the moment we're finding cloud support. Watch this uh, 60 minute chart for what happens next. The euro looking stronger against that weaker dollar did rise the start of the week has just uh, steadied now and again is therefore finding resistance on the cloud. Sterling is sitting at 139.20 uh, did touch the 140 level earlier this week uh, but still bullish on all three time frames against the dollar and against the euro sitting at 115.56 again just ticking down short term but holding on to its bull trend uh, against the euro. Uh, taking a look at Bitcoin we're sitting at $54,000 uh, short term bearish, medium and long term bullish uh, with strong upside targets. Uh, the S&P 500 index was up 1% in the end yesterday so strong showing in the US. NASDAQ um, was a little bit subdued. Uh, all eyes were on Netflix at the open. It did fall uh, back to a support level um, but uh, it's too early to say whether this is a collapse of the trend. Uh, watch the price action but for now uh, Netflix is still in that uh, bull trend mode and of course ever since the beginning of March last year the share price effectively doubled so uh, no big surprise to see a little bit of a pullback after that re-rating. Uh, looking at the uh, futures we're down slightly on the S&P we're up slightly on the Nasdaq so flat is our call for the market opening today. The VIX volatility sitting at 17 still looking very subdued um, no real fear factor in the markets at the moment. The FTSE future is up just under 0.2%. The DAX in Germany cash market up 0.3% and the CAC Courant in Paris up 0.5%. So European markets taking things in their stride. Japan had a, a week showing yesterday but uh, overnight was up 2% so we're seeing that come back. Most other Asian markets were pretty subdued. China sitting at 0.23% lower but still holding on to mostly its bull trends. Of course the big story is India. India is lower on the short term chart. Medium term we're wandering through the cloud and long term uh, we're still bullish. Uh, all eyes on the coronavirus stats and we will take a look at those uh, just at the end. Uh, the Aussie market holding the 7,000 mark so looking better there. Uh, if we look at uh, just some of the commodities, wheat uh, looking still pretty strong with lots of upside targets, bullish on all three time frames. Corn also looking very, very strong. So we're seeing these soft commodities looking very strong indeed. Uh, gold sitting at 1791, knocking on the door of 1800 now, uh, looking like a real recovery. Double bottom here and um, looking strong again. Silver sitting at 2641, it's rising as well. Uh, the US 10 year yield sitting at 155, so that pulled back. We've got a target to 154 on the short term chart. Uh, so quite interesting there. Really waiting for what we see breaking out uh, on the long term. If we go lower than say 152, we activate this downside target, um, which would mean a very big pullback. Uh, so all eyes on that really on the 10 year yield. Looking at the energy mix, we've got Brent crude down further today. Uh, it's clearly in bear mode now, downside targets. Uh, we've hugged support on the cloud here, but this failure to make a new high, this is starting to look like a lower high. If we get a lower low, that's a clear big trend change for Karud and that's what we're probably uh, looking at now. WTI sitting at $60.84, similar picture of course in bear mode. Uh, taking a look at US nat gas sitting at $268. We did uh, get higher on nat gas but we're just now breaking down as well. Coal sitting at $75.50 so that's looked strong uh, this week we were bullish on coal and emissions smashing through $45 yesterday and now uh, nudging towards 46.72, so um, that's where that's where we're looking at. Um, MBP looking uh, uh, stronger this morning, up nearly two percent, 
and uh, TTF also looking strong there as well. German power up at 59 euros, the highest level we've seen in a long time. Uh, and that ties in with our calls on German power as well. Uh, French power up 2%. We're seeing now that breakout. Uh, so power markets in Europe generally breaking higher. And if we look at um, Nordic power, also looking stronger there as well. A uh, quick look at the COVID cases. India is the main story at the moment, uh, just rocketing. Uh, so that's uh, a real uh, concern there. We are seeing cases in Europe predominantly being suppressed and falling with lockdowns. Uh, and so that's quite interesting. Uh, we still have a little bit of a rise in Holland, Greece starting to tail off. The US uh, sitting at 190 per million, the UK at 37. And most of Europe set, tends to be around 10 times what we're seeing in uh, the UK, so on continental Europe. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.